Yo, yo, it's Zach Bradshaw, the Greensboro SEO Pro, back once again to Wax Poetic about SEO. So in this video, we are, as you can tell by the title, going to talk about image optimization. This should be the last of our image optimization videos for a while. Um, and it, we're talking about execution, about WordPress, about Divi, and about actually making sure that the title tags or alt text gets added to your site. Because depending on what theme you're using, and I'm not sure how this works in, you know, every single content management system, but depending on what theme you're using, when you add the, uh, let me just say it like this, in the image optimization keyword stuffing video, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should probably go watch that one. Um, the way that I was demonstrating adding alt text and, and site tags does not work for the theme that we're building that site with, right? So um, I was just making the example so that you could see and I could, you know, draw out the explanations of um, how to name your files, how to add the the title text, how to add the alt text, but or how to think about them strategically and use keywords in them, but not actually how to add it to the page. Because when you're doing it in the Divi Builder, um, when you build a page in the Divi Builder, you actually have to add it on each image, like each image file, and you can't do it on background images or whatever else. So um, when you're building it on whatever theme you're using, you may have. Um, you know other quirks where oh I need to add it like this because when I do it in the media gallery it doesn't work so when I'm talking about the media gallery you saw me in the in that video um, just going through the media gallery and adding the title tag and the alt text through here I, I suppose I just really only showed that this first one as the example um, but I was doing it in the back end of the site as opposed to doing it in the visual builder um, where we actually had to add that, where we actually had to add like this text that pops up here and the alt text on the back end. Um, but whatever theme you're using, when you add the alt text or, or the site tags, wherever you do it, um, you should just check. So you can right click on the page when you're looking at the page, click on view page source or, you know, you could just press control U um, when you're in Chrome and like looking at the page um, and it will pull up the actual code for the page from there you can do a control F search for alt equals um, it'll show all the instances of the alt text on the page this page has a large gallery so that's why you see a whole uh, block of yellow here um, but you can now scroll using these down arrows um, to the specific through the different instances of the alt text and so because we're using the lazy loading plugin you'll see the alt text and and the title um, tag for the images gets duplicated but you can see that title tag here so the epoxy industries leading uh, color courts for decorative flooring and that is the same sorry I closed it out that is the same that you see right here on this hover um, but what's more important um, because you can just check that by hovering these um, what's more important here is that we're checking the alt text um, that's what you see here is what we used for this specific image was the best colored quartz for decorative um, epoxy permacolor quartz and that's the same one you see right here um, in your theme you probably won't see it doubled up um, just depending on you know what other plugins you're using and how things um, you know render on the back end of your site so again that's just doing a a view page source a control U, um, in order to look at that on the back end um, and just showing you across different ways that you build it um, how some of these ways won't actually add it and how you need to add the specific thing so if you're in WordPress and you just add like a featured image into this block here um, you will see that when you add and I'll just show you what I have here so it's that very same one um, you see the title tag and the alt text automatically came in um, best citation sources local blah 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 to boost Google Maps rankings right um, but when I'm looking at the page source for this page um, and I find the same file and you can see this file name up here the top 60 citation sources for local SEO dot PNG and you see that very same oops you see that very same file name right here um, and the alt text is not that same alt text nothing to do with Google Maps or anything in here nothing to do with best citation sources it says the top 60 citation sources for local SEO which in fact is the title of this blog post so within Divi and this may may not be true across all WordPress themes but within Divi when you add a featured image the alt text is automatically going to be the name of the whole article that that image is a featured image of so if you you do a featured image for a page even it will be the featured image for that it will be the name the title of that page as well um, 
So you see that as I hover this, there's no actual title tag to this. So if I want to add those attributes within Divi, then what I need to do, um, you know, and this is, I'm just creating a basic post outside of the Divi builder. Um, when I go to add this media, this one, it's, nope, this one. So when I add this media and insert it into the post, now let's go ahead and save this and it will it's still not going to quite import everything right so it will get it right and so let me just um, actually i can just refresh the same page source over here and you see that the second image just popped up right as i refresh that source um, and it's the same image right the same image file um, it has some more optimizations to it but as we find this alt text in here, you see that now it's turned to the best citation sources, local business directory, blah, 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 blah. But there's still no title, right? So as I come in here and if I were to just refresh this page, you'll see the second image is now here and it has a different title text as we just saw in the, in the view page source. But there's no, it, it has different alt text, but there's no title tag to either of these. So to show you how to do that, um, within the specific post, in the editing, it automatically imported the alt text, but it didn't import the title attribute. Whatever odd quirk that is, um, I'm just going to come over here, control A, control C, uh, copy and paste that into this here control V and update the page once this starts spinning the other way I know that I can refresh these pages and you'll see in real time that it certainly shifted and it shifted because the title tag was added into the image property so this is the whole image code right here it starts with IMG um, and it closes with a slash IMG somewhere which for whatever reason I don't see it and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time looking for it but um, this title tag could, could be placed after the alt text as it was in the Estes page um, but the all of this is under this image attribute and you can um, find the title the same way that you found the alt text if you wanted to do it like that right um, there's other titles but if you put that equals behind it um, you, you can filter it down so that you're more likely to find your you, you can find your images faster so you can see here that within this specific way of editing posts the featured image does not work to what the strategy that we were using in our image optimization video when you add this is a featured image now it, I mean it would look the same right if I just come come into this page and I remove the featured image and I updated this it's not like my post changes any right now I have the same looking post but now I have an Im uh, a title tag a tool tip essentially that comes up when I hover it it looks like it added a little extra space in there maybe that's in my builder um, and the alt text that I actually wanted is on the back end of this photo right so keep that in mind as you're doing whatever your pay your basic page your basic post within WordPress but when you're building on the Divi builder you're going to like a, a page like this each of these images you have to add it and if you're creating like a background image it's just not going to um, you're not going to be able to pull that in and maybe there's a way to you know create your little child theme that pulls that info in um, but you know that's it's not worth it and you know it's nothing we've done yet so um, now within the image attributes and I guess I could do this one on the visual builder side like I was doing in the other video just so it looks consistent um, wait a moment for this to load let me close some other things out as we do that And I might as well pull up a version. That we can look at. So in the Divi builder here, in the visual builder, when I add an image or any image, I can do it for this image as well. Um, 
the both the title tag and the image attributes oh yes they finally did it um and the I image attribute or the title attributes are within the advanced tab so i've gone ahead and added first image alt text and first image title tag just so it's easier you know i didn't feel like optimizing this right now um because when you're doing this you should really brood over it and make sure you get your keywords right but um i just wanted to add this one real quick so you could see now because i've added that as you hover you get my first image title tag here um, as i search this page source which i've clearly already done if I actually find the right image on this page, all right, there's the logo. All right, so whatever this first image, oh, I didn't do the coding icon, which comes up first on the page. Um, and so it has no alt text. And then this one has the alt and the title. And you see in this version of the code, the title is behind the alt text as opposed to before the whole image file name like it was on the Estes site. So um, when you're looking at these, those could be in any order, but you see that this is how that has been inserted and it was done on the front end, right? It was done, you know, and I could do this in the grid builder as well, but it's in the advanced tab that you do this and it, whatever, whatever the file name has as those does not matter at all. So um, when, when you go to add this image, whatever the default is for these does not matter one bit so no matter what you put in let's see if i can find an image that's actually been optimized so this is not going to translate this is not going to translate no matter what when you're using the divi builder so um it, when you're using a background image you need to discard it essentially the worrying about it at all um but when it comes to these images you just have to choose the image and then do it in the advance now if you are uh, for example creating a um a text block like if like if i was editing this text block right here and i wanted to put an image into this then it would be back to the way that that i just showed on that post that you would insert the image and you'd have to come if i can get into the editor well it doesn't look like I can get into the editor easily here, um, but you can always <laughs> just come over here and cheat and add it right into this. So um, this is the the actual code of the page and just, you know, switch over here to the text viewer and I can very easily just add alt equals whatever I want it to be. Um, and I can do the same thing with the with the title and that will work within this specific Divi Builder and obviously I could have done that on any on the post side as well when I was just doing that in, in the other post um, I'm not gonna save this because I don't want to have to go back and fix it um, but you can see that you're gonna have to do some um, you know just to just to do it I will actually save this and check it just so you you can see it um, Once this saves, I can refresh the page. And very close to that, you'll see that a new image was added and it's added with more versions, right? It looks much more similar to the to the last one, um, the one that we were doing in the in the regular post. Um, but you see here that the alt text did get added. And that's the main thing that you want to check that it actually worked. Um, whichever way you're doing it and then once you know that um, you know provide the frameworks so within Divi you, I, I've just shown you all the ways you know you have to do it here um, but we'll, whatever your theme is you can you know find the process for it and then you can work through that every time w when you create a good step-by-step -step for it so hopefully this was helpful hopefully you understand um, how to you know optimize images at all levels if you've watched through all of these videos um, and then finally how to execute and putting um, your title tags and your alt text in your images and make making sure that they actually get translated to the final product which is the source code of the page and then the final rendered version of that page as well so um, I'm going to go back to fixing my site since I just like did some terrible design work um, and you know from here you can go ahead and like and subscribe to my stuff if you want to if not that's cool too of course if you need help with SEO I'm here to serve you and until next time
I love you. Peace.